Hello and welcome to my new video series called How I Work. Uh, it's a video series where I'm going to be covering the different tools that I use um, while I work, for working, for productivity and otherwise. And today I'm going to be covering a tool called Tmux, or I think it's called Terminal Mux or whatever, that's what it's short for. And uh, I will be covering how I use it and why I use it. So I use i3 as my window manager, which has some really cool advantages to it. And you might be asking, why am I covering this? Well, one of the main reasons is that with i3, you can create different terminals and tab between them, and you can show things in a row and do all kinds of cool stuff. And as a result, a lot of people kind of dismiss Tmux and don't use Tmux because it's kind of like, well, why would you want to have a, you know, a terminal emulator no what is it I don't I don't actually I'm told terminal multiplexer I guess uh, that allows you to run multiple terminal windows when you can use i3 to do the same thing and I just kind of want to go over that so first tmux is uh, available in most repositories you can run it on Ubuntu you can run it on arch you can run it on basically any Linux distro I've used it on Mac OS before. I actually don't know if it works. I don't think it works on Windows like in PowerShell, but it, I'm sure it works in the Windows uh, sub, the Linux subsystem. So let's run Tmux real quick. And so if you've never seen a terminal multiplexer, I think that's what it stands for. <laughs> Somebody correct me. Um, it's basically this idea of having tabs or like a tabbed uh, terminal where you can arrange different terminal windows next to each other and you can create multiple terminal sessions while being still in the same terminal. So look at the bottom here. You'll see that I'm running ZSH terminal and it, it, it is prefixed with a one. That means that this is the first terminal screen that I have. Um, just like a lot of other Unix tools, there is kind of like this leader map, right? Like in Vim, you, you can remap your leader key in um, Emacs, you have things like uh, your Alt X or Mod X or whatever you call it, Control X and Control C, these kind of keys that once you press them, other modifiers can execute other actions. In i3, a lot of people use the Windows key or the super key um, as the mod, so you can do super one, super two to cycle through the different windows. In Tmux, uh, people usually remap um, the uh, kind of the, the shortcut to execute any other commands to control A. And on top of that, most people remap their caps lock key to be to behave like control key. So you basically type in control A and then other commands. Uh, you're not going to see it and I don't have anything to display what I'm pressing. But when I press control A and then I press C, it creates a new session. And then I can cycle through these section, sessions by pressing control A1, control A2, control A H, let's see, control A and control H to go left and then the same way. And you can kind of see the star on the bottom as I'm switching through them. So that's kind of cool. And so I can run different things here. So here we're, we're going to go ahead and open Vim and Tmux and that's great. And Vim can run its own terminal as well. But what's kind of cool is that without, uh, without running terminal in Vim and polluting the tabs up top, um, I can go ahead and switch to the second tab and run, um, I don't know, I can cat out my ZSH, right? Cool, yay. Um, or I can access Git or whatever else in my second terminal window. Um, I can rename these with a control A comma. So I can just put in that this is Vim. Um, there are some tools to rename these automatically based on what you're running inside. I found that kind of useless. Um, what I find more useful is naming them according to what I need to use them for. So uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. And this is what I found to be the um, most productive. So let's say I go into one of my personal projects. I'm working on a Gatsby redesign um, or a Gatsby blog. Right, and so I would run Gatsby develop here, and then in my other window, I would open Vim so I can do whatever I need to do. Right, and that's kind of neat. Uh, it'll it'll run eventually. So that's one of the main ways that I use it. Um, you can also split windows, which is pretty cool too. So let's, say, let's just say that I want to run Vim, but actually, I want to run Gatsby in the same terminal terminal session or the same window. So I can press Control A. And then I can press the pipe operator, which this is a um, 
This is one of those things that I remapped for myself, but it is a common remapping. And you can kind of see that I have this split screen view and I'm still in, this, in Tmux in the same terminal, but I have a different terminal session here. So I can go ahead and go back to there and run Gatsby develop. Um, and then I can go ahead and just say like, look, I don't really like the fact that it's taking up so much of my space. I really just need to run Gatsby develop so I can see if there are any errors. So, and I can switch between these. You can kind of see the green line over here as it changes and tells you which I'm in. And I can uh, resize these as well with some shortcuts. Oh, looks like I have a problem here. Perfect. And so, yeah, yeah, I have a problem here. Let me go open that up, right? I have a post.js that I'm messing up. Let me go to, oh, Jumbotron is not being used. Why am I importing it? That's fine. Prettier is gonna autocorrect this. I can go here um, and I'm all the way at the bottom and everything's compiling fine. Let's go ahead and undo this change, save it, there. Yeah, so it, it, it is a productivity tool in this that you have this one tool with one set of shortcuts where you can do all these kind of cool things here. Um, there are a lot of shortcuts. I am not a master of Tmux. Um, as much as I know, let's say about i3 or Vim, I don't know as much about Tmux. There are some cool things that you can do. Um, let me show you some of the other productivity tool, productivity things that I've done here. So really mostly I use it for the tabs on the bottom so I can run multiple sessions and switch between them. The split screen so I can have Vim plus something else running on the side. But there's one other thing that I really like and that's being able to create new sessions. And you can see I have a Tmux cheat sheet open here uh, for this video. So let's go ahead and just uh, open that up real quick. And one of the things I really like is that you can create your own named session. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, let me go ahead and go into that folder. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just call this session, um, I don't know, uh, blog redesign. You can see on the bottom here, it tried to show the entire thing, but it just says blog ready. That's fine. And then we can actually detach. So what that means is that let's just open Vim and pressing a shortcut, control A, B. I thought it was control A, B. D, control A, D. Um, it looks like nothing's working anymore, like I exit out of it. What's cool is that I can attach back. So I can do Tmux LS and it shows me what sessions I have running. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and see that redesign. It looks like I have several that I detached from. Um, so let's do control A. Wait, wait, hold on. Tmux A. I'm not in, in Tmux, so control A doesn't do anything. And then I believe this is how we do it. So I will say Tmux attach and to blog redesign and I'm back. So I can just save these sessions and come back to them whenever I need to, whenever I want to. What's cool about that is that, let's just say you're done at the end of the day with your work and you have some complicated setup, you know, you have the whole Gatsby develop here. Um, obviously you don't wanna have, be running Gatsby develop in the background, but maybe you do. Um, maybe here I have some, you know, I'm yeah, looking at uh, Git and what I need to do there. That's cool. And so I'm just going to go ahead and detach. And then I want to work on one of my personal projects. And the next morning, I'm like, oh man, I need to get back to work. Oh yeah, let me see. Do I have a session open? Yeah, I do. So let me go ahead and go attach back to it. Um, and uh, I don't know if you saw that, but I have ZSH and it has auto completion uh, for Tmux. So I typed in BL, press tab, and it auto completed um, that session. I have no idea what these sessions are. Actually, I think this is a, oh, it says attached. So this is actually a running session in one of my other terminals. What's cool is that I believe I can attach the same session and whatever I do in that session in this terminal should reflect in the other terminal. Um, this is one of those like more advanced features where you can have several people join into the same Tmux sessions through um, SSH or however else and uh, be able to, you know, uh, collaborate together. I recommend this cheat sheet over here, um, using it. Um, it is not a, like it's a, it's just a random cheat sheet I found. I redid, like I uh, rebound a lot of this, the keys. For example, um, let's see, the horizontal split is not percent. It's the pipe operator and the vertical split is like a minus sign. So this will, 
split it ver uh, you know that you have two panes next to each other and this <laughs> the minus sign will split it so that they're on top of each other which is nice um, I don't use any of the other stuff so uh, let's see any of the other tools let's see swap yeah, I don't even know oh swap that it just goes between them you can kind of see the green highlight here um, okay yeah um, and then I can kill that pain I guess doesn't work so I don't really know yeah I don't not sure what that does oh I was pressing the wrong button cool so you can kill it um, I don't know toggle between layouts that's interesting I've never seen this before I guess there are some predefined layouts but um, yeah, I, I don't really use any of these things. Um, I did rebind a lot of the keys. You can check out my uh, dot files. Um, I rebound them mostly so that they fit kind of the Vim convention so that control A H will take me to the left. Control A L will take me to the right. You can see the highlight there. Control A and control L will take me to the, to the next terminal. Control A and then uh, control H will take me to there. Um, and control A, shift H will help me redo it. Um, the binding stops after one run, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Um, yeah, it looks like there are some other other cool things, but really just to boil it down, I use these, these uh, terminal instances more often than any other feature. And the detach and attach thing, I really want to get into because I think that is actually the real productivity boost over here. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you watch more of these videos and I'll have more of these available as I work through all the different cool tools that I use. Um, thanks for watching.